ladies and gentlemen, and my friends abundant in many places. I am Professor Julius Sumner Miller, and physics is my business, and our business for several days and several days more, indeed a hundred days unending, Bernoulli. And this one will absolutely enchant you. Consider the following. This is something to witness. I have here a funnel into which from below we are going to blow some air. And I have my assistant who lives in this castle with me blowing air from the machine that produces it. Blow. Good. Hold on. To show you that air is coming out here, I am going to put some puffed rice in there so that you will see the air blow it out. And then you will agree that air is coming out. Blow, my good... Blow. The air has come out. Thank you, sir. Now I'm going to put the golf ball in there. Uh, correction, a ping pong ball. I am putting that in there. Now just let me consider matters with you. Just look here. Here is the funnel. There is the ball. We are going to blow a sharp stream of air up there. We already agreed that the air blew the puffed rice out. Should it not blow the ball out? Absolutely. Absolutely. Watch the ball go out. Blow. Thank you, sir. Let me make a commentary about that. The ball did not go out. And so we may word this, characterize this, phrase this, describe this as the ball that did not blow out. Like in Sherlock Holmes, the dog which did not bark in the night. Now, why didn't it blow out? Because the ball doesn't fit too well at the walls of the funnel. These are narrow constrictions. The air moves at a high velocity. The pressure is reduced and the atmosphere holds it in. But then how about it when we turn the funnel upside down? Well, that's better still, isn't it? The ball didn't fall out. Sure, high velocity here and here, low pressure there and there, and the atmosphere held it up. I say Bernoulli is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Now, if we have air enough for further evidence, let me take a golf ball. See what I can do with it. If we have enough blow of the air, I can do amazing things with it. Let's try it. Oh, notice. Very good performance. The ball did what it should do. A very high spin. Indeed, with a high enough air velocity here, I could get 100,000 RPM. Pressure on the upper side reduced. The atmosphere holds it up. Let me try it with a lighter ball, which is styrofoam. That's quite off the vertical, and the ball is spinning very fast. Yeah. And I think the Bernoulli should be applauded. And finally, I want to show you how to throw a curve. And as my students often say, Professor, you've been throwing curves all the term. And this is just one more. I grasp the ball like this, throw it that way so it is spinning so, leaving my fingers, and the spin this way makes it go that away. I am throwing one in this castle room. I am throwing one, and it curved so. On oath, I say it did. Finally, because it's pretty to see, I speak again of the beautiful flutter of the flag. Or, more majestically perhaps, there it is. And why does a flag flutter? Because of the Bernoulli reduction in pressure on one side, momentarily the atmosphere pushes it, and so it successively goes the length of the flag. <clears throat> this is wonderful to see, and I thank you for watching.